I got this sweet loft right above the golf course here at Island Green Golf Club booked for the next three days. So I'm gonna play a load of golf and enjoy my trip. But first, before we hit the course, here's the loft. You got the uh, bedroom right here. It's got a twin bed, queen size bed, whatever you wanna call it, flat screen TV. And then your bathroom with walk-in shower is right there. And then you turn around, there's your kitchen. So it's a nice quaint little loft that's right above the golf course. Perfect for couples or single golf addicts like myself. And then you come out here and you have a real nice view of the landscape off your private deck. Now we're gonna hit the course. Let's get it. We're gonna start off with a par four that actually dog legs around the driving range. And all you need is about a long iron, a hybrid over that mound. See how this hole just curves around the driving range. And there's our ball right there. So we got a pretty good look at it. Let's try to get this green in regulation. Needed just a bit more gas with that one. Give it a little hop and run with the 54. Ooh, that needs to bite. That's more than a hop and run. Yeah, my touchy feely shots just aren't on the money yet today. Now we're putting from the back of the green. You gotta hit it. For bogey. You got it. Now we're on the fourth hole. This is just a nice short downhill par three. But you gotta make a good shot if you wanna carry that swamp. That could be good. It didn't hit the green. Got over the swamp though. Just lipped out. Looks like it's gonna be bogey golf today. Not doing too bad right now. Although I would like to get my pitches and chips closer. Then we could definitely make some pars. So now we got a short 445 yard par five that goes out to them trees there is the end of the straightaway fairway. Then it dog legs to the right and runs downhill. And from the corner of the dog leg, you get a really good view of the vistas and the hillsides out here. So let's tee off and then I'll show you that. Ooh, that might be too much curve. So we just got around the dog leg and kept it in the short stuff. I did almost put too much fade on that, but it worked out. Yeah, about 150 yards out. I'm gonna hit an eight iron because this is so downhill and it's warm out. This should roll right to the green. Just off the right side. So here are them nice views from the top of the hill at the corner of the dog leg that I was telling you about. Just these nice panoramic views of the hillsides. It's so pretty out here. Now we just need a chip and a putt for birdie.
fight. Use the bite. I really like the little backspin on that one. Keep rolling. Ah. Oh. So far, the Scotty's not disappointing. Getting the balls to the hole and giving me those two putts. There's a par. There, we got a par on the par five. But now it's time for the main event. Now I'm going to show you why this place is called Island Green Golf Club. So here's the reason it's called Island Green Golf Club. We have a legitimate Island Green par three. So what I'm going to do is, instead of focusing on me hitting the shot, I'm going to focus on the green. So you can see if this makes it to terra firma or lands in the H2O. That could be the one if it goes. I don't know how well the camera caught that, but we did in fact land on the island and we have a birdie putt. Let's get it. Good turn. Oh, almost had the birdie on the island. Wouldn't that have been something? But a par is good when you're surrounded on all sides by water. And that will conclude my stay and play adventure here at Island Green Golf Club. It was real fun to come out here. Definitely coming back here again. And I hope you guys out there enjoyed it. New Scott out. Mm -hmm.